When you want to correct a specific section of a recording, usually to fix a performance mistake, you can restart playback before the mistake, punch in to engage recording just before the section you wish to fix, and then punch out to stop the recording immediately after the section while playback continues. A take folder is created containing a comp that combines the old recording outside the punch in punch out range with the new recording inside that range. This technique allows you to fix smaller mistakes in a recording while still listening to the continuity of the performance. There are two punch methods, on the fly and automatic. Punching on the fly allows you to press a key to punch in and out while logic plays, whereas automatic punching requires you to identify the auto punch area in the ruler before recording. Punching on the fly is fast, but usually requires an engineer to perform the punch in and punch out while the musician is performing. Automatic punching is ideal for the musician producer who is working alone. To punch on the fly, you will use the record toggle command, which is unassigned by default. First, you'll open the key commands window and then assign record toggle to a key combination. So choose Logic Pro X and navigate to key commands and edit or option K to open the key command window. Next, click the disclosure triangle next to global commands. The key commands window lists all available logic commands and their keyboard shortcuts, if any. So in the command list, click the record toggle command to select it. And click learn by key label. When learn by key label is selected, you can press a key or a key plus a combination of modifiers such as command, control, shift or option to create a keyboard command for the selected function. So I'm going to press R on the keyboard and of course R as we know is assigned to record. And we can see an alert indicates that R is already assigned to the record command. You could click replace to assign R to record toggle, but then record would no longer be assigned to a keyboard shortcut. Instead, let's use another key combination. So click cancel. And this time we're going to press control J because I know that that's available. So I'm going to press and hold control and then press J. Control J is now listed in the key column next to record toggle, indicating that the command was successfully assigned. Now close the key command window, but you can't use the shortcut command W to do that because it'll think that you're assigning a shortcut. So you have to close it here. You will now use the record toggle key command to punch on the electric guitar track, which is the bottom track in the tracks area. So let's select the track. Click R for record. We're going to zoom in a little bit so we can see the punch in happening. And when punching on the fly, you may first want to play the performance to determine which section needs to be re-recorded and to be ready to punch in and out at the desired locations. Now, obviously I'm playing the guitars. I won't be able to play the guitar because I'm punching in. So I'm gonna have a quick listen. <laughs> I'm going to punch in at the beginning of bar three and punch out at the beginning of bar four. So here we go. So you heard me punch in and you heard silence because I wasn't able to play. If I click the disclosure triangle, you can now see the punch in region. To prepare for automatic punching, you enable the auto punch mode and set the auto punch area. Setting the punch in and punch out points in advance allows you to focus entirely on your performance during recording. So first you will need to customize the control bar to add the auto punch button. So we're going to control click in the control bar and choose customize control bar and display. And in the dialogues mode and modes and functions column, 
select auto punch to add it to the control bar and you'll see it being added here. Now click the auto punch button or press command, control, option and P. And a ruler becomes, the ruler becomes taller to accommodate for the red auto punch area. The auto punch area defines the section to be re-recorded. You can define the auto punch area with more precision when you can clearly see where the mistakes are on the audio waveform. So we're going to click the background to deselect every region on the workspace. And now we're just going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm now going to resize this auto punch region. You can see I can make it longer or shorter at either end. And now this time rather than press control J, I just press R. As you can see, I've now recorded my punch-in area. It's a little bit quicker, so I can do it again if I wanted to. And so on until you get it perfect.